Hey y'all, Mark the Donkey Rescue. And we are here with Heather Suter. She's one of our trainers. So today we're gonna to talk about training. Um, it's great to be back in the studio and sit back, relax. And Lori, cue the intro. My name is Mark Myers. Most people just call me the Burrow Man. My wife Amy and I have been rescuing donkeys for over 20 years. We started the Peaceful Valley Donkey Rescue as a backyard hobby. It is now the largest equine rescue in the world. We manage five and a half million acres of wild donkey habitat for the federal government. We rescue throughout the lower 48 states. We have flown 120 donkeys from the Big Island of Hawaii to LAX, and we help donkeys throughout the Caribbean. Our staff helps us care for more than 4,000 donkeys all across the country. Donkey rescue is not what we do, it's who we are. So Heather, uh, Heather's a trainer here in Peaceful Valley. So how long have you been with the company? About two months. What do you think about it? I absolutely love it here. Um, donkey Working with the donkeys is absolutely wonderful. Everyone that works here is just truly great and it's been a real fantastic experience so far. I've only heard good things about Heather. I haven't been around. Um, I've uh, been back and forth to Nevada working at the museum since pretty much since you started. So I haven't been around, but when I hear good things, that's always a good thing. So walk me through it. Um, you pick a donkey, usually out of a big herd because it's friendly, right? Mm -hmm. That's number one to be adoptable is they got to be friendly. So walk me through a training process. Okay. Um, so we have several donkeys in a in a book and um, sometimes we'll pick specific ones to train other days we'll just walk out in the paddock and the first one that walks up to us that's the one that we decide to train right then um, we will halter them and then lead them out of the paddock and take them for a walk and um, see how they walk on a lead rope and um sorry i'm kind of nervous <laughs> i am too <laughs> um see how they walk on the lead rope um that's the second thing is being able to take a halter and walk on the lead rope without them to pull them that kind of thing and then we'll take them back to the training area um, where we will tie them to a tie them to the post and have them uh, stand tied, and we grade them on you know how they stand tied, whether they get antsy, um, just kind of how they how they feel about standing there, if they're stomping their feet, different things like that. Um, then we will brush them all over their entire body, um, see how they react to that. Um, most of them actually kind of like it. Some of them are a little nervous at first. And then we will uh, pick up their feet and pick out any rocks, uh, debris, just different stuff that's in there. Make sure their feet are fine. Um, we pick up their feet so that um, when they are adopted, a fairy will be able to pick their feet up and trim them. Here at Central, we're about 50-50, 50% 50 50 wild donkeys that have been caught somewhere, maybe Death Valley, Fort Irwin, and then the other 50 are um, domestic rescues. And so those, we don't necessarily have any history on them whatsoever. They could have come out of some farmer's field that, where they've never been touched, or they might've been somebody's pet. But even if they're somebody's pet, their feet may have never been touched. So these are a lot of new experiences for them. You know, even if they were somebody's pet, those people don't necessarily pick up their feet. So these are all new experiences for these donkeys being led on a, you know, even somebody's pet that's friendly, maybe it never had a halter and lead rope. So these are all new experiences. So when I used to be a trainer, I 
I've done every job on a range. So with me, I pick a donkey, that donkey's going to get trained. So starting out, he might be like, no, I'm not. But I can guarantee if I lay eyes on a donkey, we're going we're gonna to do this. So, you, you know, you put them to the paces, give them a treat, go to the book, and you grade them, A through F. You know, and some, some of them are really good at one or two things, and they're terrible at the rest of them. But that's all right. We're going to get through it. So by the time we're done, you got a straight-A student that's ready to go to adoption. And what I think is really cool is I took a picture of a donkey in Death Valley, and it was very near um, Barker Ranch. And Barker Ranch is where they caught Charlie Manson. And I knew the donkey because it was a black jack with a stubby tail. His tail was only that long. He'd been bit off. Very unique looking donkey. And six months later, I was back here in Central, and I was doing a fundraising campaign, and I needed a picture of a donkey. And so I had a staff member. I said, put your arm around that donkey and put your finger up like this. And she did. And so I got to talking with her, and I was betting the donkeys were talking. And I started scratching his butt, and I looked, and it was that same donkey. Within six months, that donkey went from being at Death Valley to being ready. He, he had just had his blood drawn to go out on a load back east in six months. And that's pretty, that's pretty remarkable. Okay. So I tell you what, we're going we're gonna to hold it right there. Y'all take a break. We're going to go to commercial, and we'll be back with Heather. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about what happens once the donkeys are done with training and how the adoption program. So watch this commercial because it's probably going to be really cool because I'll be in it. So hold on. Lori. Hey, y'all. I want to remind you about our gift shop, uh, donkeyrescue.gifts. All the proceeds benefit the donkeys. And we're having a special right now on uh, my new series of books, Today's Donkey in the New World, uh, Donkeys in the Caribbean and America's Wild Burrows. And if you use the keyword uh, Donkey Rescue TV, you get 10% off. So head over there after the show and get yourself uh, the books. Everybody tells me they're pretty good. So y'all be good and we'll get you back to the show now. And we're back. Uh, we're here with Heather. She's one of our trainers here at Central. So the adoption program, and uh, you can learn more about that on our, our website, donkeyrescue.org. But we rescue usually around 1,000 donkeys a year. That's pretty much our average. And that is domestic rescues across the lower 48 and also from our wild borough management program, which is 5.5 million acres out west, and also the work we do with the Bureau of Land Management which is upwards of, that accounts for as many as 500 a year just through the, the Bureau of Land Management. And now they've asked us to take 3,000 over the next five years on top of everything else we do. So that's a lot of donkeys. Mm -hmm. And so without adoption, we're nothing but a bunch of hoarders. And I refuse to be a hoarder. Yeah. We shed hoarders down. So we have to adopt the donkeys. So that is a big system. So the way we do it is we have three ranches. We have west, central, and east. And each of those feeds out into our massive satellite adoption centers. And so we manage between 40 and 50 satellite adoption centers. And they're the ones that adopt our donkeys into the public. But in order to do that, we have to have trained donkeys. And so the donkeys have to... Like you said, they have to walk on lead, they have to stand tight, and they have to pick up their hooves. So that's your job is to make them do that. So these, these satellite adoption centers, they're, they're volunteers that out of the goodness of their heart, they take our donkeys and they, they adopt them locally. Um, at some point, we're probably going to put you in the truck and trailer so you can get to meet some of them. And sometimes they come here and they learn from you how to keep them keep the donkeys trained so that when they get there they, they're just not standing around waiting to be adopted so that they they can you know keep fresh on their training and also when the adopters come the satellite adoption operators can train the adoptees on how to keep the donkeys going so anybody that's interested in adopting or becoming a satellite adoption 
Center you can go to our website and all the information's there. There's a map on where all the satellites are. There's information on how to adopt, but also how to become a satellite adoption center. And it's, uh, it, it, it's cool, but we need adoptions. We need adopters. We need satellite adoption centers because we're getting ahead of the curve. And what I don't think a lot of people understand is Peaceful Valley Donkey Rescue is pretty much single-handedly solving the donkey issue in the country. Uh, if you think about how many childhood hunger charities there are in, in the country, right? Every grocery store you go to, you can buy that little coupon. Mm -hmm. Well, then how come there's hungry kids going to bed at night? If every church and the federal government and all these charities, kids are going to bed hungry, right? Mm -hmm. Well, how come I'm on speed dial with the federal government and we're solving it single-handedly? Pretty amazing if you think about it. You know, my grandpa said it ain't bragging if you can back it up. So we can back it up. And I think it's pretty cool, but we still got our work cut out for us. If, and, and it really, it, 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 you guys are the heroes. The trainers are the heroes. You know, we've got the teams that go out and live in the desert. Those guys and girls are great. But without the trainers, and we got trainers out west, we got trainers here at Central, and we got trainers out east. You guys are the heroes of the company because without the trainers moving the donkeys out, the whole thing collapses. And like I said, then we're just a bunch of hoarders. You know, we just have donkeys standing on top of donkeys because the ones that aren't going out are the ones that are going to sanctuary. And we can keep doing that, but only to a point until that becomes oversaturated. And so if you all want a job training, Come on, she'll teach you how to train. Come come get an application because we're always looking for trainers. We're always short trainers. So anything you want to throw out there? Anything you want to say? Um, I don't think so. I think that's pretty much sums it up. Are you going to stick around? I am. I am going to stick around. Pretty good job? All right, well. I hear nothing but good things about you, so that's good. I appreciate you coming on, talking to the folks. Um, please remember that the Peaceful Valley Donkey Rescue is supported entirely through private donations. We don't take any government money, never have, never will. Um, got more episodes coming, so y'all be good. We'll talk soon.